Hi everyone, it's Susan Warren, your instructor for um, Applied Tech Math Online, Spring 2023. And I'm going to talk to you about my lab, some information that you're going to want to know so that you are successful when you go to my lab. Now on the Navigating Canvas video, I talked a little bit about getting signed up for my lab, but it's uh, fairly simple. You just go to my lab information. And wait a minute, um, you can read about it here. And then you'll just click here until you can copy your code. And I kind of showed you how to get started on that on the previous video or the other video. It doesn't matter which one you watch first. So I'm going to go to my lab and mastering because I have it linked to the class already. So you can get to my lab this way and say open my lab and mastering or you can go to the Pearson website. You just click in Pearson and you'll find a sign in and you can sign in your information that way to get there. And then also when you're working on assignments you can just go to modules and the lessons which you're going to see this once you're scrolling through. So notice here is my lab 1.1 1, 1 through 1.5. It's basically all of chapter um, chapter 1. I'm waiting, waiting. I think it's going to show up. Okay, and so you can actually just navigate from right here. You can click on a question and start working. And so you can get to your MyLab assignments in different ways. I just realized that there was something I didn't show you in the modules on this. Um, that it's actually a very important thing, and that would be the teaching videos. Uh, these are all posted on YouTube, but I have them embedded. So you can watch a video, uh, well, more than one video, because I usually keep them uh, less than 15 minutes. I do keep them less than 15 minutes. So be sure that you watch the videos before you try my lab. You definitely don't want to start on your assignment until you've watched the videos. And then um, you can click next to get to the assignment. I'm going to go back again. One more thing. Um, you want to, if you can, download the notes. So basically the notes go along with the, the uh, teaching videos. It's the same notes that I give out to my online classes, my online, my seated classes when I'm teaching because I teach them the same lesson in person that I teach you on the video. All right, so let's go ahead and go to my lab because there's some things there that I want you to see that you wouldn't see from just the page of the homework assignments. Okay, so you would do open my lab and mastering. Now, when you're working on my lab, if you click on an assignment, I have it set up where it automatically syncs to Canvas. So it will put, if you just click on an assignment, but you don't do anything with it, it's going to put that grade in the grade book for however much you completed. If you don't do anything, it's going to put a zero in, but you have time to get it finished because um, it's, you have until the due date, actually you have one day past the due date and you can get 50% credit if on any questions you didn't finish on time. Also, <clears throat> it shows on my lab or, or on Canvas that it's not submitted. And that's because it submits through Canvas it submits through my lab and then it syncs to Canvas. So it's not actually submitted on Canvas, if that makes any sense. So if it gets confusing when you're looking at it, you can always just go into the gradebook on Canvas or on my lab and you can see, hey, did I actually finish that assignment? If, it, if you're thinking, I did this, but it's saying that it's not submitted. Well, it's just the way it's set up. Um, it doesn't really show that you submitted on Canvas. Okay, so over here, I can see that I don't have this pulled over quite as far as I need to. Um, there's a menu that you might want to use. Now, the things that I would highly suggest are, of course, your course home. Now, I'm in the, the instructor view, and I'm just going to stay in that because I can show you what I need to show you there. When you get here, it's going to show you what assignments are open that you can click on and work on here. And then um, 
you have an e-text that you can access. Now I'll have some students, I never looked at the textbook the whole semester. Well, I have this set up in such a way and I do the teaching videos, so you don't necessarily have to look at your at your textbook. However, it is a resource and it has a lot of great information. So you may wanna read through some things if you're confused on something, I can't tell you every single thing that's in your textbook. I'm going to give you the highlights. I'm going to show you how to work problems. You're going to practice, but maybe you need to go back and read the actual textbook and look at some of those examples if there's something that you're struggling with. So when you get to the e-text, then you're going to click here. and wait. It always takes a little bit of time for this textbook to load. It is a textbook, so it's a lot of information. And there are some things we skip sometimes, and so, you know, you want to be careful about making sure that you know what we're learning in each part of this. But as you can see, you can navigate from the chapters. You can click in and look at something in the textbook. And then I, you can click out of that and then um, you can see your textbook. I kind of have, now I have the, the screen over this way. <laughs> anyway, so you can see problems in, in the textbook. You can read through uh, information, definitions, examples. And I feel like the textbook has a lot of great information. And so when students say, I never opened the textbook, I understand that, but also no that it could be helpful. Okay, so back to this menu. I obviously did not set my, my screen in the right place exactly. Uh, homework would get you to your homework assignments, which are also going to show up on your home screen when you get here. And then um, the study plan, that's the one. Well, I want to talk about the home. I'll talk about the study plan and go back to the homework. So when you get to the study plan click on all chapters and this is just basically a place where you can go and practice any of the problems that are available which are basically the odd questions from your textbook on whatever um, parts that you're learning so this is going to keep you in the right area for what you're supposed to be uh, practicing on when you click ok it takes you back here and then you can go through any of the information for the entire class and it's right here now, the other thing is um, how it works in the homework versus the study plan. Let me just open a question. Okay, so when you're in the study plan, you have some things that are available at the bottom of the screen. Let me open this up. Well, once again, I'm not being able to show you. There we go. Help me solve this, view an example, and get more help. You can ask the instructor, so you can actually send me an email from here. So help me solve this is not available on your homework. It's only available on view and exam, or view an example is on homework. Help me solve this is also on the study plan, but not the homework. So you may want to use the study plan sometimes just because you can't figure something out and it's actually going to work you through the problem. The show uh, view an example works you through a similar question. And a lot of the problems that are on your homework are also on the study plan because there's only a certain number I have to select from when I'm setting up the homework. Now, the homework is, let's see, well, we'll just use, we'll just use an easy question here. Okay, so I want to explain how you can get the best out of your homework. Okay, I have it set up so that you get two tries to put in the answer. This is round to the nearest 10. So we're going to do it wrong. Okay, I'm going to do this wrong on purpose. Okay, I know what this is when it's rounded to the nearest 10. It would be 130. But I'm going to say 131. Okay, so I'm just going to put something in, which wasn't rounded to the tens place at all. And then I get a second chance to put in the right answer. This time I'm going to put 120. 
Oh, and so then it's going to say, oh, you must need Skill Builder. You don't have to go to Skill Builder, but it's a place where you can get some more help whenever you're struggling with a concept. Okay, so since I missed that twice, I get the chance to do a similar question. So now I click on similar question. It says, what is 323 rounded to the nearest 10? And you, you guys, that's going to be 320 right to the nearest 10 because the tens place is the two the three is below five so that means that i don't um, add one and then when i check it and you can just push enter and it will check good job next question right now if i had missed again i could actually go down here and do one more similar question so you actually get six tries to get the right answer two per question and what happens when you go to similar question it just changes the number oh and it tells you wait you're limited here if you miss this one then you're in trouble right i'm going to cancel it because i don't really want to go to similar question uh, so make sure that you know how to do your homework um, and how to work with my lab because you want to get all the practice that you can if you get to the point where you've missed it let's say you've got your last similar question right which is question your third time right you have an the original question a similar question then one more similar question before you try that last time maybe you want to go to the study plan find a similar question or maybe you want to go over here and do view an example or animation or something else if you have some time before you're supposed to get this submitted all right so I'm gonna I don't really care if I save that or not this is you know, I go in here and mess up problems just to show you stuff. Uh, you do have a grade book you can go to and look for look at your grade here, or you can look on Canvas. And then the rest of this are things you can just explore and use if you want to. Um, but you can go to this main menu here uh, for help. Some students, I don't know if they ever actually come into my lab, but don't forget about that study plan. It can be super helpful. It's a place you can practice. It doesn't count on your grade, so it gives you a practice place that is you can get immediate feedback. Oh, I got that right, or I got that wrong, or it'll give you some hint sometimes, um, which makes it helpful. Once again, just like everything else, please let me know if you need any help, you know, figuring out how to navigate things, uh, because you need to know that real quick in the class. All right, I'm going to uh, get off of this one now, and um, I hope that you guys have a great semester. Bye.